Hi, so yeah, I'm Vincent Wunz. I work for SUSE. I'm, I work on OpenSUSE and on GNOME. And so as part of GNOME, I've been doing many different things. Uh, and I was, for example, the release manager for GNOME 3. So we started thinking about GNOME 3 in 2008. Uh, and so we moved slow, slowly at the beginning to, to, to work on that. And starting with 2009, we more or less start working, all the communities start working on, on it full time, more or less. Uh, we still were working on GNOME 2, but that was not the highest priority anymore. So it was really a lot of investment, it took quite some time, uh, but uh, it turned out to be really good. So the design of GNOME 3 really changed a lot with, the t with time. Uh, the bas bas basic ideas were there at the very beginning, but as you mentioned, the layout itself um, changed quite a bit. Um, I think there was only one big major change in the layout, uh, which happened uh, in last summer, I believe. Yes, last summer. So it was a, a big change in the layout, but actually from a feature perspective, it didn't really change a lot of things. It just really the layout. And then we added a few new things later on in the last few months, but it was more or less the same layout. A lot of developers working on Node3. It's really hard to evaluate the numbers of developers, obviously, because uh, we don't have that kind of figures. But uh, we had people working full-time on it, really, uh, maybe some, like between 10, 20 people working full time in GNOME 3, and we had all the volunteers uh, really working whenever they could uh, in their spare time, and they invested really hours and hours and hours and really literally days in that. So I would say in total, we had like at least 500 people working in GNOME 3. The feedback has been really positive. Uh, we were expecting mixed feedback because it's a big change. And uh, obviously there was mixed feedback, but it was much more positive than what we expected. And people liked the fact that it was innovative, but also really intuitive to use. Uh, so that was very good. But we also had some critics. Uh, so some, some were really uh, valid bugs that we intend to fix for the next release or the, the release after that one. Uh, but there are also the usual feedback when there's a big change, like it looks different, so I, I don't really like it. And to that kind of uh, feedback, we really try to say to people, uh, please try a bit harder. You need to use it for at least a few days to make sure that it doesn't work for you. So it's not the only plan. So the next release will be out in September, so it's quite soon. It's like five. Uh, yeah, four or five months from now. Uh, there, there are, so obviously one of our priorities is to fix the annoying bugs for people. Um, 3.0 was really good, but it also came with a few bugs which were annoying. So we're trying to fix that. But we are also uh, really focusing on a specific set of features. Like we want to make it easy for people to find their files, their documents that they've been working on, and to integrate that directly in the main interface. You, so you wouldn't have necessarily to go to the file manager to find your files. The so file manager would more be about organizing your files to make sure that they are in the right place, rename them, copy them, that kind of features. Uh, we also targeting uh, a, a revamp of the way we work with contacts uh, to have really a central location for contacts that people can use. Uh, we also want to work on all the sharing features uh, to have a central way to configure your web accounts and to decide how to share files with people, for instance, or if you want to share your desktop uh, with VNC or that kind of technologies. So what we want to do uh, is to have uh, a unique way to configure your accounts on your system. So that would include 
uh, configuring your, your email accounts, but also your Google account, for example, or your Yahoo account, which would give access to your mails, uh, to, to Instant Messenger, and uh, all the features offered by those kind of web services. So we want to offer an integrated way to, 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 to access the features provided by web services. So um, we, we have plans to do that. Our first priority for the search is really to use it to, to find documents. That's our first priority. Uh, but we do have plans to use technologies like Tracker that can have uh, semantics, uh, like really more, use more metadata and try to build a qu query that, that is more complex. Uh, so we do have plans for that. Uh, but we are careful about that because we want to offer a, a user experience that don't, doesn't seem to be really too difficult to use so people actually use it. If they see that the search implies uh, entering various fields that they don't necessarily understand, they won't use it. So it has to really be well designed first. So it's true to some extent, uh, and so we obviously have less options than KDE, for, ex for example. Uh, we have less possibilities to also configure the layout. Uh, but So that's true to some extent. We also have options which are hidden, which we don't display in the interface because we don't believe that they are useful to most users. They are useful to a small set of power users, and we do actually offer an interface for them which is called GNOME Tweak Tool, which lets them change a few settings, for instance. But uh, we also believe that to offer a really good user experience, it has to be designed in a, such a way that it feels integrated. And for that, this comes with a cost, and that's customization. It cannot be fully customizable, really. Uh, so we, we believe that what we are doing is the right way. Uh, we also understand that it doesn't work for everybody, and that's why we're quite happy that projects like KDE exist, because people can use KDE instead of GNOME for, for if they have the use case for that. Mm -hmm. But we believe that for most users, our approach is really good. No, there, there's no... Uh, real plan to change the, 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 the current layout. Uh, there will be a few features added here and there, but the overall design right now won't change. That's not planned for now.